The king had taken quite a shine to me. He began sending me presents and love letters, and him a married man. My darling Catherine, you are my English rose without a thorn, whereas my wife is like a man in a dress. If I can get rid of her, will you marry me? Love, Henry VIII. So Henry dumped Anne of Cleves and married her lady-in-waiting, little old me. And do you, Henry, take Catherine Howard? Bearing in mind she is a Catholic and we don't like Catholics, do we, sir? Get on with it, Grandma! <clears throat> Very well. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Didn't you realise this would end in deep trouble? What? Me? I blame your family. I beg your pardon? Look, Flower, your family should never have put you in the way of a king who had a history of burning, beheading and chopping people. I thought that now I was queen, my life would be one long party. But then his leg got worse. He was laid up in bed for a fortnight. I was bored out of my brains. I bet you found something to do, though. Yes. Dear Tom, Henry's being boring and his leg's gone gammy. So will you be my boyfriend again? Love, Queen Catherine. <clears throat> well, will you? Catherine. Kiss me. <laughs> Tom Pepper! It's Henry! Oh, my word! Uh, hide! <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> my leg's better. Have you seen my wife anywhere? No, honest. Hmm. Uh, well, if you do see her, tell her to pack her bags. I'm taking her on a trip up north to celebrate our love. Henry took me all over the north of England, pardoning all the Catholics who tried to rebel against him. I think he did it because I was a Catholic and he loved me. Did you love him? Of course I did. He was my lord and master. So why were you secretly seeing this Culpepper fellow at the same time? Oh, he was just a bit of fun. Except it soon stopped being fun. That Archbishop Cranmer had started fishing around while we were away. Someone had sent him a letter that said... Whilst she lived with the Duchess of Norfolk, Catherine had a boyfriend called Mannox, a musician. And then she was engaged to be married to a man called Francis Derham. Oh, dear. Cranmer had my two ex-boyfriends arrested and tortured. What had they done wrong? In Tudor times, queens weren't meant to have boyfriends before they met kings, especially this king. I didn't know what Cranmer was up to. I'd been away enjoying my holidays. I think that's the best holiday I have ever had. And you are the most beautiful, caring wife I have ever had. And you are the only man I've ever loved or ever will love. Tom. Ah, oh, welcome back, sire. Um, can I have a word? Of course. In private? I don't believe it. Mannix and Derham have confessed that they are her ex-boyfriends. You are not the only man she has ever loved. <laughs> what should I do? <laughs> Arrest her! What? I've got three men in deep, deep trouble. Mannix was released because he hadn't been a proper boyfriend. But poor Francis Derham was hung, drawn and quartered. And Culpepper? Oh, he was lucky. He just got his head chopped off. This head's too gorgeous to chop off. I'm terribly sorry, but the king has spoken.